Anisha says, my husband doesn't give me time. He's always outside with his friends while I sit home catering to the kids. Every time this discussion comes up, we end up fighting, what should I do? Well, Anisha, I cannot answer you. I have to listen to your husband because in any dispute, there are two sides, two parties, and each one has his own side of the story. I listen to you, I feel you, and I say that your husband, if he, as you had described, has to be hang hanged. But when I listen to him, I say that you should be standing in front of a firing squad. And when you both sit in front of me, then the truth is revealed. And I can tell that 50% of what you had said was a lie. And the same goes for him. You say that he's always with his friends. And if I ask him, he says, whenever I work 10 to 12 hours a day and I'm tired, I'm fed up of work, I need to relax. If I go home, all what I hear is nagging. I'm fed up. Your mother called and she uh, uh, picked a fight with me. Your kid did this. Your, your uh, uh, sister said something and she did not invite me. All what I hear is nagging. You never give us quality time. Take us out. We need this. We need that. So in order to relax, the moment I go back home, I decide to go to my friends where we hang out and we chill. We just, you know, play, play uh, PlayStation or whatever. We do anything that is time consuming and then go back home and sleep. So probably, it, it, as they say, it takes two to tango. Maybe you are a part of the problem. Now, I'm not blaming you. Don't say that, oh, I am the victim and now I'm being uh, uh, accused of causing... The no, 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 not, 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 not that at all. I don't know your husband and I don't know you, but I'm giving you an advice. And if your husband comes and complains to me, I'm going to give him the same advice by saying that you don't fear Allah. You should spend quality time with your wife. You should appreciate that she is sitting the whole day between four walls, catering for your kids and, and children, cooking and cleaning and ironing and washing. But it's not appropriate that I tell you this. For you, I tell you that it is your responsibility to take care of your husband, to give him a safe haven to relax in, to feel that he is home so that he's energized to go the following day to earn the food that you need on the table. Now, as I said, you have to learn how to communicate. If this causes to whenever you discuss this with your husband, to have a fight and to increase the level of tension in the house, this means that you have a problem. You've got to get this fixed, either by sitting with him and communicating without pointing fingers. Because usually, when you want to sit with your spouse to communicate, and the moment you open your mouth and hear something negative, you say, but you did this and you did that, and you said five days ago so-and-so, and, -so, and you you keep on bringing the dirty laundry. And this is not positive. Therefore, you have to look for a way to communicate. If not possible, go both of you and sit with a Muslim marriage counselor who would listen to both of you and try to give you uh, a solid advice, inshallah. Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah Ba is the beginning of Bismillah Ta is for Taqwa, bewaring of Allah And Tha is for Thawab, a reward